going to be doing a little bit of mind reading to demonstrate what this is about. I have here a pack of cards. I'm going to ask this woman here to name any playing card you like in a pack of cards. Okay, any playing card you like. Before you do so, I should point out that the aces and queens are quite popular choices. It's entirely up to you, I'm not trying to influence your mind in any way whatsoever. So, any playing card? Um, the King of Hearts. The King of Hearts. And that wasn't actually the card we agreed earlier, was it? <laughs> <laughs> You've forgotten that conversation already, haven't you? So, tell me, do you believe in coincidence? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. N well, not really. No, not really, no. 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 N neither do I, which in itself is quite a coincidence. Um, <laughs> however, it is quite a coincidence you chose the King of Hearts. I'll tell you why, because before I came out this evening, I actually took one card from another pack of cards. As you can see, all the cards facing towards you, the audience, are in fact blue-back cards, but there was one with a red-back, and that red-back card just happens to be the King of Hearts. I know what this gentleman here is thinking. He's thinking there's no way you would have chosen the King of Hearts. Is that correct, sir? Yes. Yes, I knew that, you see, because I'm a mind reader. Um, <laughs> so, as a matter of interest, which card would you have gone for? Seven of Diamonds. The Seven of Diamonds, right. Is that a particular favourite card of yours, by the way? Yeah. Do you have a favourite card? Not really, no. You don't? You'd be a little sad if you did, really, wouldn't it, sir? But uh, <laughs> it's amazing what some people do have. Um, the Seven of Diamonds, well, that's quite a coincidence as well. I'll tell you why, because before I came out this evening, I had a premonition not only that the uh, King of Hearts would be selected, but another card. And what I did was I took this card, I placed it inside an envelope and put it inside a wallet, which I have here. It is, in fact, an empty wallet, as one or two people might be able to see. It's also a sealed envelope. But if I just tear it open, uh, there should, in fact, be one card inside. And that one card just happens to be the Seven of Diamonds. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Ah. Oh, I'm wasted. I should be on telly. Oh, I am. Anyway, um, <laughs> let's try another quick experiment. There's a woman just sitting here. Can I ask, uh, can I ask your name, please? Brenda. Brenda. OK, I knew that really, Brenda. I was just checking on the pronunciation. OK, that's great. <laughs> and um, there's uh, uh, a young dad here. And um, your name is? Robert. 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 Um, when's your birthday? Just the day and the month will do. Uh, the day and the month. First. Of June. The first of June, right? Um, which makes you a Gemini, doesn't it? It doesn't. It does. Are you a twin? No. Nope. No. Shows what a load of nonsense astrology is. Anyway, never mind. Anyway, <laughs> have you any idea what the characteristics of Gemini's are? Indecisive. Well done, Robert. Um, <laughs> one more person, if I may. Um, uh, maybe the young lad here. Um, better get a move on, and the milk round will start in a few minutes, won't it? Okay. <laughs> and, um, we've got a name of birthday. Where do you live? Sorry. Sorry. Okay, that's great. <laughs> okay, sorry, it is. So, what we have here, we've got somebody called Brenda, whose birthday is on the 1st of June and lives in Surrey. And quite often I do an experiment of this sort, in a studio of this size, there's somebody in the audience who's called Brenda, whose birthday is on the 1st of June and does live in Surrey. Has that happened here this evening? No, it was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? OK. Uh... <laughs> Well, that was an interesting experiment. No, no, it's OK, because there is something else involved here. Because before I came out this evening, I had a premonition that I would meet somebody rather special. And actually wrote the details of this person on a piece of paper, placed inside an envelope, and put it inside another wallet, which I have here. I'm just going to move down here to... Uh, and your name is? Susan. Susan. Susan, I have here the zip of the wallet. I'm just going to unfold that. I'll just take out the envelope there. Would you like to have a look at that? Don't open it yet, but is it, in fact, a sealed envelope there, Susan? Yep. It is. Now, I'm just going to take, uh, take this knife, which I have here. And... Um, <laughs> Susan, there is a piece of paper in there. Um, we'd like to take it out. If you'd like to unfold it, I'm just going to uh, sit down next to you so that we can uh, both read it together. Um, I hope that makes sense. Um, I'll read out the main bit. You read out the important bit. It says, Ian Keeble predicts on the big stage tonight he'll meet the following person. Name? Brenda. Brenda. Uh, birthday? 1st of June. And from? Surrey. Thank you very much. It does indeed. Thank you very much, Susan. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. Okay, Susan.